What is up, bros and brorettes? I am Ink Slasher, and this is the second video of the day. I don't do this very often, so it's a little bit of a special one for you. But today, I just I look, just looked down at my phone, looked at my Twitter, and I saw that we have some brand new weapons coming to Black Ops 3. That is right. We got five brand new weapons coming to Black Ops 3. So this video, I'm going to talk about them, tell you exactly what they are. We don't have any stats for them yet, so that'll probably be coming later next week. As soon as I have the stats, there'll be videos coming out to you guys about that. I got a question for you guys, though. Do you guys want to see a video where I go and open supply drops and try to find the new weapons. I've done them before. I haven't done them in a really, really long time, but if that's something you'd like to see, leave a like rating, and let's say if this video gets over 2,000 likes in a few hours, we will go ahead and upload that video of me opening some supply drops, hunting for those new weapons. So hit that like button if that is something you would like to see, but let's get into talking about these weapons. So I'm just going to show you some footage from the new trailer. I'll leave the link to the trailer down in the description, but this trailer, it showed all five new weapons, and we'll start off with the range weapon so of course the first one is the first ever dlc weapon ever to come to call of duty it is the peacekeeper or the peacekeeper mark ii in this game now the peacekeeper it looks really good I i've watched a little bit of gameplay from it and it does look like you can get a three bullet kill from it and it has a pretty decent fire rate so we'll have to wait to see how this compares to the other smgs and like i said as soon as we get some stats i'll be making videos about that but this is pretty damn cool i'm really looking forward to seeing how this gun performs as i said earlier it was a really good gun from Black Ops 2 that was a DLC weapon, so I'm interested to see how it performs in this game. Up next, we got the R70 Ajax 3D ammo printing LMG. So this is our first LMG DLC weapon, and this one is ammo printing. And we've seen this before. I believe it was in Advanced Warfare that we saw it. But this basically, it's just going to refill your ammo by printing ammo directly into the magazine. Now, I don't know whether with this weapon you can still reload it or not, or you just have to wait for the ammo to build back up. I'm not 100% percent sure but it looks interesting and i'm really looking forward to getting my hands on it but uh as of right now i don't know those details we just know it's a 3d ammo printing weapon final ranged weapon we got is the dbsr 50 not the dsr the dbsr and it's a double barreled sniper this is a weird one this is a really really weird one and what i'd expect for this one is out of the sniper you're going to get two shots pretty close together because it's double barreled and then after these two shots, you're going to probably have a pretty long reload time to kind of balance it out. At least that's what I'm expecting. Now with this one, from the gameplay, the minimal gameplay I've seen with this one, it looks like it's going to be a one-hit kill. It looks like it's going to be like your normal bolt-action sniper rifle damage, kind of like the Locust. you got to hit them in like the chest or upper body and it's going to be a one-hit kill, which could be a very very good weapon and a very good weapon for search and destroy because long reload times don't matter as much in search and destroy but we'll have to wait and see i don't know all of the stats for that one it's a one of the most interesting sniper rifles i've ever seen so let me know what you think of all the range weapons down in the comment section but let's move on to the melee weapons so as for the melee weapons we got nunchucks which is just pretty damn cool and the reload gesture i know you can't reload them but when you press the reload button it's got the really cool nunchuck whipping around gesture that one's really cool and we got the enforcer and the enforcer is simply just a shock baton which is another really really cool melee weapon i think they really nailed the melee weapons on this one i have no idea how they're going to balance the ranged weapon though and this is kind of surprising me because what i'm seeing right now and what i'm seeing from yesterday's patch is they buffed a bunch of black market weapons it seems like they're making the black market weapons really good so maybe that menu we saw earlier today and earlier today's video maybe that menu is going to be to unlock dlc weapons or black market weapons whatever you want to call them I don't know, but let me know what you think of all of the brand new weapons down in the comment section below. If you like what you see, let me know. If you hate what you see, let me know. There is also a whole bunch of new taunts, gestures, character gear, all of that stuff that came out today, and it's considered the July contraband. So what we can kind of expect is at the end of August, we're going to get some August contraband. End of September, we're going to get September contraband. That is kind of what I think we're going to get is monthly weapon drops and monthly new items um, with their new banner system that we've seen implemented yesterday. But like I said, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video and want to see a supply drop opening, which I haven't done in a really long time, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I new call of duty videos every single day of the week today we got two new videos which is just a little something special for you but uh if you like what you see hit that subscribe button and uh you'll be notified whenever i upload videos so i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching check out my twitch twitter and second channel all down in the description thank you so much for watching and until next time peace out we are we are reaching for the stars but we're making this too hard and i want